Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Giulianotti and I'm a board certified dance therapist. I wanted to have a little video today about the six senses and how we can help kids avoid meltdowns, which has been a lot of the work that I've been doing with kids. Um, and it really is about the six senses. So if we can think of our lives as being this sensory experience, we can really start to view their lives through this lens as well. Um, so to make it short and sweet, I'm gonna go through these six senses and some of the tools that I use in my practice and in child creative coaching that can help you with your kid. So one of them is to start with scent. Um, let's say you're in the grocery store and they're beginning to have a meltdown, which I think is you know, a very broad definition of many different behaviors, screaming, um, getting fidgety, not listening, all of these things we can try to soothe through the different senses. One of which is a little aromatherapy blend that I make that is just water, a teeny tiny bit of alcohol just to kill some germs, and an aromatherapy of your choice. So one very soothing, simple one is lavender. And this works in my dance classes really well. I spray it, they love it. They just wanna feel the little mist on their face. They go like this and then start cracking up. Um, it might take a few more mists and ask them to take a deep breath. Breathe in the flowers and blow out the candle. Three times. Stop everything you're doing and do this. Lavender, water, spray. So that's scent, that smell. The next one we're gonna uh, learn today is the sight. So you see I have a lot of lights going on in here. One really neon glowing light, a lot of glaring lights in the back of me. If I really wanted to be aware of some stimulating things in the room, I'm gonna get up and go turn the lights off. So that can be a major one for kids um, and lights, any blinking lights, anything that's, uh, you know, fluorescent lighting, just even dimming the lights really helps um, to eliminate one of the sensory things in the room. Another one is sound. So we live in Brooklyn right now. Um, it's really difficult. There's a lot of noise always going on. Um, I see some parents using earbuds for their kids so that we can kind of take away that sensory experience. Another one that really works for me in getting kids' attention without yelling um, is the Tibetan meditation bell. So any soothing sound bell, but this one specifically can uh, trigger calming and focus. Kids actually love to try it and they wanna just ring it, ring it, ring it, but help them really be able to do it slowly and listen to how long it lasts. So that sound. Another one is touch and tactile stimulation. So one of them, uh, one of the things I love to do with kids is teach them, if I see them getting really hyperactive or not able to focus, really high energy, I'm gonna get them up and jumping. This is pro proprioceptive feedback. And this is something I do with kids all the time. So, sometimes I use a pillow and I get them to jump on it. You can do it on the floor, anywhere you are. Um, but you literally jump, 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 as many times as you can. And freeze. So, this is something you can model with them if you have the energy at the moment. Um, Otherwise, get them to really just jump it out first. They're hyperactive, you're getting them to try to sit down and be calm, it's not gonna work. You need them to jump first. Um, another thing that we can work on is breathing. So, I use this fun little instrument and it helps with getting them to really attend and focus on their breath. I'm not the greatest at it, but they like it. Um, so just breathing is important. Um, and the last one that we're gonna do today is something really fun, something they love, and it might be something you can keep in your pocket. Um, these have some aromatherapy blends in them, um, which is a great way to carry them. 
Um, but I use finger puppets. So if they're feeling really upset, maybe it's better to put on a finger puppet and I'm really mad. I don't want to do this. Well, how can we get him to want to do this today? So, you know, you can play a game using finger puppets. Oh, and here's, here's this little friend, right? So getting kids to voice their feelings through an object is really helpful. It even helps them to kind of step out of it and give themselves some distance. So those are my six senses today, and um, I'll share more with you soon.